Hi, I'm Jane from Poppy Patchwork and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make a 12 inch block called 54, 40 or fight. This block uses four patches and half rectangle triangles and I really like the results you get when you use half rectangle triangles. When using half rectangle triangles in a quilt you get a really lovely optical illusion of curves but you haven't had to sew a single curve and that's why I really like them. I've designed this quilt block notebook which I use when I'm planning out the blocks that I'm going to do videos for and you may find it useful. You can buy it from Amazon and if you scan this code using your phone it'll take you straight to the Amazon page for it. Now let's get quilting. For this block you're going to need 10 two and a half inch squares in background fabric and four three by six inch rectangles. In fabric A you're going to need four two and a half inch squares. In fabric B you're going to need four two and a half inch squares and in fabric C you're going to need two two and a half inch squares and four three by six inch rectangles. So this block made up of full patches and half rectangle triangles. And we're going to start by making the four patches. So for these, we're going to match up a background square with a coloured square. Now we're going to sew those together with a quarter inch seam allowance. Now I'm going to set the seam and press them towards the darker fabric. Now to make the four patches, I'm just going to refer back to my pattern book my quilt block notebook where I wrote out my pattern and I'm going to be making four patches, um, two A's, two B's and one C. So because the seams were pressed towards the darker fabric, when we match these together, those seams are going to butt up nicely. So I'm going to find where they meet and pop a pin in there. and then put a pin at either end. So I'm going to take this back over to the sewing machine and sew with a quarter inch seam. So I'm going to set these seams and for the fabrics A and B, I'm just going to press them to one side. And And for the four patch made with fabric C, I'm going to press the seam open. So that's the four patch that is in the centre of the block. So back at the cutting board, I'm just going to trim these down and they should be trimmed to four and a half inches square. So I want that centre line to be at two and a quarter in both directions. And then if there's any excess fabric, I'm going to trim that off. Now 
and I'm going to repeat that with all of the four patches. Now with those trimmed, we're going to put them to one side. So for the half rectangle triangles, I'm going to use this new tool by Creative Grids. It's called a half rectangle trim tool and it's designed by Deb Heatherly. If you do not have one of these tools, then right mouse click on the link above and it will take you to my video that shows you how to make half rectangle triangles with freezer paper. Now when you make half rectangle triangles, you have left slanting and right slanting. And for this block, we're going to need the same number of each. So for this, you may find it easier to have a rotating cutting board. And the first thing you're going to need to do is have both rectangles right sides up and place them together. So normally we would place our fabric right sides together, but for this, we're going to be placing them both right sides up. So I'm going to do that for all of them. So I'm going to have four and they're all right sides up. Now what we need to do is cut them in half across the diagonal. And we're going to cut two across this diagonal and then we're going to cut two across this diagonal. So I'm going to start by cutting from this, this corner to this corner. And I'm going to do that with the other one as well. Those to one side, I'm going to leave one on here. The key thing is we're now going to be cutting the tips off of the triangle. So with the ruler, we line the A markings on the ruler with the fabric and we cut the tip off. It's just a little bit of fabric comes off there. I'm going to rotate the board around and then I'm going to rotate the ruler around and now I'm going to line the B lines on the ruler up with the fabric and I'm going to cut that tip off. I'm going to do that for all of those triangle pieces. Now I'm going to do that with the other pairs, cutting the diagonal in the opposite corners. Okay, so for this left slanted one, now that it's cut, we're going to flip it over so that we're working with the wrong sides up. And then we're going to line the A lines of this ruler up against the fabric. And where they line up, we're then able to cut along the top here. So then we rotate the unit round and then we line the B lines up. And again, we cut off the tip. And then I'm going to grab the other one. So now we're going to take these triangles and sew them together. So this is right sides up. We're just going to twist it round like that and then they become, joined together, they'll become a half rectangle. Now those little notches that we cut out are really important. So we're now going to pin these together. So you should find that the notches match up with each other. So 
So once they're matched up, just pin them before sewing a quarter inch seam along the edge. Now that they're all pinned together, I'm going to sew them with a quarter inch seam allowance. I'm now going to set the seams and press them open. So I've separated these into piles of left and right slanting half rectangle triangles. And I'm going to start by cutting a left slanting HRT using this tool. And we need to follow the lines of the two by four inches. So I'm going to lay the trimming tool on top of the piece that we've just sewn, making sure that all the lines are on top of the piece. If you're not using this tool, then trim to two and a half by four and a half inches. And this will give you a quarter inch seam allowance. So I'm going to begin by rotating it slightly and cutting this top piece off. I'm going to rotate a little bit more to cut this side piece off. I'm now going to rotate the ruler around and then I'm going to lay it back on top of the piece that we've sewn together. So this time I'm going to get the lines on the ruler exactly on the bottom and right hand side and then I'm going to make sure that the diagonal line is on top of the seam. I'm going to swivel the board slightly and trim along the top and then swivel it a little bit more and trim along the side. So now I have a trimmed half rectangle triangle ready for sewing into the block. You will notice that the um, diagonal is slightly off center at these edges and that is perfectly okay. Now I'm going to continue to do all of the other pieces. First of all, doing the left slant trimming and then doing the right slant trimming. Block layout. Lay all your pieces in the block layout. and begin by sewing the half rectangle triangles together. You may want to right mouse click on the link above it will take you to my video on how to sew perfect points on your quilt blocks. Once sewn, place them back in the block layout and then pin the columns together. So with a quarter inch seam allowance, return to the block layout, but there's no need to press yet. Then pin the pieces at the bottom of the columns. Now return to the block layout and press the seams open. Pin two of the columns together. So with a quarter inch seam, there's no need to press at this stage. Pin the other column and sew with a quarter inch seam. Now press your seams open for a flatter finish. Congratulations, you have made the 12 inch 5540 or fight quilt block. By repeating this quilt block in this quilt, you can see the illusion of the curves when you use a half rectangle triangle in your blocks. 
I've made some other blocks using half rectangle triangles so check out those videos and maybe make up some of the quilts that you can see here. Want to learn more? Watch another one of my videos from the Quilt Block series. Click above to go to my playlist. I hope you liked this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. More of these videos will be posted, so please tune in. Thank you for watching and bye for now.